Hello everybody. I'm 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 McGillicuddy Magoo and I'm here to welcome you to Bev Nerd Episode 13. Bevnerd.com. I think my eye is starting to fall off my face. <laughs> ah! Ah, can you get that for me, cat? <laughs> That's right, McGillicuddy Magoo. Welcome to BevNet episode 13. I'm your host, Jason Coleman, and I'm sporting my trophy husband t shirt because May 9th is mine and my wife's first anniversary. I love you, Amanda. Can't wait to have many, many more anniversaries. I hope you can put up with my shenanigans. So far, so good, right? Anyways, uh, awesome. Gads the Geek Fest was awesome. Thanks to everybody for supporting Bevner. We had a blast. I, I tried out, I let everybody sample all the products that we had. We tried Pepsi Max Ceasefire, Fizzle Fruit Skittles live on the podcast. We also had Double Colon Ski sponsor of the booth, so thank you very much to Supreme Beverage and those guys. Thank you. It was fun. Oh my gosh. Anyways, um, we're going back to our regularly scheduled format of one drink and one snack and my thoughts on both. So that should be pretty cool. Um, 40 plus new friends, or fans, but you're all my friends, right? 40 new fans on the Facebook fan page. That is awesome. Thanks to the public library. If it wasn't for y'all, those 40 fans would not know about BevNerd and probably lead better lives because of that. But hey, you're already sucked in. I've got you in my clutches now. Also, I need your clutches. No, you need my clutches because I need you to follow me in, on Twitter at twitter.com slash BevNerd today. Uh, we're trying some stuff that I got from, well, actually the candy bar today I got from Whole Foods. I got a, too much for the Whole Foods episode, so I'm going to start trickling some of that in. This is from the United Kingdom. This is Cadbury's Crunchy Bar. And uh, as we had learned on Saturday that science is awesome. Science! Yay! Uh, there's some science behind the Crunchy Bar and I can't wait to tell you about it. But after such a, such a, such a super hectic week, staying up late, making my little my little gimmick back here, printing out things, getting replays gameware involved, Dragon Quills, Joey Elrod, Dragon Quills comic book shop, able to participate. I had a busy darn week. So what better way than to try purple stuff, the pro relaxation drink, opposite of an energy drink. This should be pretty cool. Uh, so yeah, uh, without further ado, let's through the Crunchy Bar. Let's try that next. Thanks, guys. All right, viewers, here we are with the Cadbury Crunchy Bar, and I do apologize if you heard any wind noise earlier. I had the air conditioning on. Anyways, here we go. This is a milk chocolate bar with a honeycombed sugar center. It's made by Cadbury UK and is originally launched by J.S. Fry and Sons in 1929, so it's kind of old. It's cool. During manufacturing of, this cr of said Crunchy Bar, this is the science. Well, I don't know if it's science or just engineering, but that's part of science, right? Anyways, there it is. It's a bar. Okay. Uh, the manufacturing of it, the sponge toffee in the middle is produced. Wow, look at that. Get a good look at that if you can see that. It does have a honeycomb kind of, uh, it's got little dots all over it. And if, I don't know if you're, if you're like me, when I see like tiny dots or if I step on an ant bed, it just gives me the chilly willies. But anyways, <laughs> the sponge toffee is produced in large slabs and it's cut up using a highly focused jet of oil. Uh, the use of a blade would lead to fragmentation while the use of a water jet would result in the sponge toffee dissolving. So that's not good. Oil prevents both of these scenarios and results in the uniform sharp light edge portions. So there you go. And then the sponge toffee is then covered with chocolate, cooled, and packages for my consumption and purchasing purposes. So let's try this right now. Ah. All right, here I am with the Crunchy Bar, but one second. Happy birthday to Jeremy, uh, a BevNerd fan since uh, a long time ago. So long ago, right? Anyways, here we are with the Crunchy Bar. I'm going to try right now. Hmm. It's light and crisp. Got to use that word, crisp. Uh, the milk chocolate is sweet and yummy, of course, because who, who doesn't love chocolate? But what's interesting is I bought into it. 
It doesn't take much effort to bite through it. And of course the crunchy um, toffee sponge, it's crisp and so light and airy. Um, you barely notice it there, you bite into it and it just kind of all just melts. Melts in your mouth but it still kind of retains a crunch. It's pretty darn good toffee. This is pretty cool. This is a very unique snack. I haven't had one like this before. Um, if you see this at Whole Foods or your international markets of sorts, uh, try it. It's kind of cool and it tastes good. So what can you, what can you say besides that? You definitely taste the buttery goodness of toffee. And it always kind of melts in your mouth. It's really good. Um, there's a little bit of, um, it kind of bonds together a little bit. So there's little, there's little balls of um, toffee in, in, my, in my teeth or whatever, but that's not a big deal. Um, so yeah, try it. It's good. All right, here I am with Super Liminal Purple Stuff, the Pro Relaxion Formula. Uh, this flavor is classic grape. It says calm down, relax the body, and focus the mind. Uh, there's some text that I won't read to you because it's a waste of time. Anyways, uh, this was launched July 11th of 2008. It claims to be an anti-anxiety uh, drink that helps you focus and calms you down. Uh, to create this calming effect, Purple Stuff has only a small amount of crystalline fructose, a natural sugar that metabolizes slowly and is suitable for diabetics. Um, <clears throat> uh, Rose hips and valerian root are combined with L-theanine amino acid pronunciation. Anyways, it's an active ingredient in green tea for, uh, they claim to say on the website, that combination makes the magic bullet. Um, <clears throat> it also contains fruit essences for a calming aroma when the pure mineral water adds to the complexity of the taste. Let's, let's crack this open and take a look. Um... Right away, it's got a very, very light carbonation. Um, it is a, uh, it is purple, of course, and it is kind of uh, translucent. It's not too dark. I know it's kind of dark in my room, but it is. You can see through it. It's not super dark like Grapeco, which congratulations to Grapeco for beating Fanta Grape in the Gadsden Geek Fest Grape Wars 2010. 37 votes to only nine. Anyways, back on track. Let's try this sucker right now because I'm ready to relax. I'm taking a short whiff of purple stuff. It definitely smells like grape soda. Um, it's not a super, super strong smell, but it does smell faintly sweet and pretty good. So let's try it. Oh, that's pretty good. Um, it's got a light, nice grape taste. The carbonation doesn't kill your throat or burn very much at all. It's easy to drink. Um, it tastes good. Um, it kind of has a small taste like an energy drink. Maybe they're sweetened with the same kind of uh, sugar or whatever, but it does taste a little bit different than regular grape sodas and more sorta barely like 2% like an energy drink, but hopefully this is not an energy drink. And um, I will uh, post some comments um, 30 minutes after I have taped this and you know, see if it really calms me down. If I feel any different, you'll see the comments on different things and the stuff in the place. But yeah, that's a nice fizzy drink. It's really nice and nice and nice. Um, it's not too heavy. It feels great. Anyways, that about wraps it up for today's show. So enjoy life because it's awesome. Once again, happy anniversary, Mrs. Coleman. Thanks everybody. Uh, please, please everybody with your nice comments, keep them coming. I appreciate every one of them. Good night. All right, this is a quick update. I added this um, after the show. It's been about 10 minutes, 15 minutes after I had purple stuff. And I got to tell you, I actually feel more calm than I did before I had it. And um, it's weird. I, I read into it. It doesn't make you sleepy. It does no, it has no sleep things in it, not even melatonin, because it's not it's not made to put you to sleep it's just made to relax and I really feel like that I haven't eaten in a while so my stomach is empty maybe that's why I kicked in but purple stuff is the real deal and I'm I'm, pre I'm, I'm feeling pretty pretty darn mellow so I'm gonna chill for a while and wait forever for this to process and you'll be able to enjoy it really soon update sweet bye everybody